A woman in Webster Groves received this anonymous letter asking her to remove the Black Lives Matter sign from her yard, saying that it was driving down property value. It was supposedly from a neighbor, but someone states away got the exact same letter. Tonight, we are hearing from a city leader about the impact this has had in this community, as well as a real estate agent about whether or not this type of signage really does impact property value. The other day and it's starting to like crack and fall apart because we've had it for so long. There are a lot of ways to get your message across. It's our second because one was stolen. Courtney Schaefer's family prefers bold font and in their front yard. How would you describe the racial breakdown of your neighborhood? It's white. Which you wouldn't necessarily guess walking down Oakwood Avenue in Webster Groves. There's even more people in the neighborhood that have signs. With the same message as hers, which is why some strange mail she got last month caught her off guard. Talk to me about this letter okay. and your reaction. So we got this letter and it's like resident. We feel you've made your statement and respectfully request that you remove it. Thank you in advance for caring enough about the people you live side by side especially with different viewpoints by removing your sign, your neighbors. And what you're saying is the people who you live side by side would never write something like this. I would say my sign is actually more neighborly. She hadn't heard of anyone else getting similar letters until she saw this story from our sister station in Portland, Oregon. I was very shocked by how like open it was. Another family receiving a letter for their Black Lives Matter sign. With the exact same wording, it's a campaign of hate. They are trying to instill uncertainty, which leads to fear. The author of the apparently national letter states they appreciate the political and social viewpoint, but claim the signs are, quote, driving down interest to live on this street and are causing property values to suffer. I think this letter writer was probably sadly misinformed. Susan Schiff is very familiar with Webster Grove's real estate. I've been selling there for 35 years. She also lives in Schaefer's neighborhood, where these signs have actually been up for a couple of years now. In those past few years, have you seen an impact on property value? I really have not. Our market is so hot. If anything, I'm seeing a bump. But there is something she says that can hurt property value. What buyers really want is to live in a neighborhood they feel comfortable in. Racism, there's no room for that. A similar message from the Webster Grove City Council, which sent out this letter as word spread about Schaefer's letter and local churches started getting hit with graffiti and pushback for calling for social change. This letter denounces racism and lists ways the city is working to fight it. To find that our issues of racial equity come up in the same way as other communities, it shouldn't be surprising. Webster Groves is about 90% white. Black residents make up less than 6% of the total population. There is no excuse for racist behavior in our community. Um, there shouldn't be any anywhere in our country. Let's say the letter did come from somebody who lives in your neighborhood. What message would you have for that person? What is it that you're afraid of? Diverse communities are strong communities. And so I'd want to know what that fear is that drives them to do this anonymously as well. Anonymity aside, Schaefer says the message was received and dismissed. Does it surprise you that this is happening in your neighborhood? No, because when people get uncomfortable, they start doing more and more stuff. But she's more focused on other stuff, like raising the next generation and equipping her own son to shape his own message. What do you hope? He's keeps, he keeps walk, doing the work. He, it's, it's not going to be something that's going to be in my lifetime, and it might not even be in his. We all need to continue to do the anti-racism work. Schaefer said she wanted her story told in case anyone else got this letter or one like it so they would not be intimidated or fearful. Meanwhile, Arnold says that the city of Webster Groves is taking steps to address racial equity for the city. You can read more about their efforts right now on our app.